The 17th century uh, is this moment where we can look at these these revolutionary birth moments. Okay, not that uh, capitalism, democracy, and science are all operating before this uh, in some way, shape, or form. But you know, in this moment, right in the 17th century, this is really where we see these uh, discourses. Uh, you know, really coming to fruition and really sort of uh, seizing the day and uh, defining what the modern world will look like. All three, science, democracy, and capitalism, are operating with universal, global, assimilationist mechanisms. Uh, they are striving for uh, not the particular particularity or locality or tribality, if you want to call it, of, of the world, or looking at the world that way, or creating the world that way, but they're trying to really bring the world together uh, in a more universal, global, and assimilated type way. Uh, all three are operating with rational, logical, and systematic mechanisms, okay? And so they are Ultimately, we, the way we want to understand uh, science, democracy, and capitalism as, is as types of systems. Uh, and when we, when we see things as systems, not just phenomena that are happening or institutions uh, that are created, when we start to see things, or if we can learn to see things in a, in a sort of more systemic type way, then it's, it's easier to analyze them. And that's what we want to try to do with these systems, okay? So they, they're trying to create, all three systems uh, are trying to create a more rational, logical, efficient, uh, equitable, just um, mechanism or application for human beings to operate in. Now, we can juxtapose this uh, we're juxtaposing this idea of the universal, global, and assimilationist, right, and the rational, logical, and systematic. That's the traditional heritage view of these three discourses. We can juxtapose uh, this type of birth moment, or seeing, you know, this birth moment in this type of way. We can juxtapose this with another type of birth moment, um, and this is. Um, emphasizing that which is not universal, 